the beer I have tonight is another Trader Joe's beer. Uh, this is their private label brand, I guess, Joseph Sprow. This is made by, uh, who was it, Steinbrow, uh, San Jose, California. This is a Rattler lemon beer, 4% alcohol, so it's not high in alcohol at all, and it's 9 IBUs. So here is the bottle, it comes in. All, the, all their private brands are have about the same label. Refreshing, crisp combination of beer and lemon juice with natural flavors. Brewed with Holotow hops, 90% Pilsner, 5% Munich, 5% Carahel. Additional ingredients, sugar, lemon juice from concentrate. Right here in the back is what I'm reading. It's that top section that's probably too blurry to see. I'm expecting this to be lighter, medium body, probably a summer beer. And as far as I know, Joseph Bro can only be by Trader Joe's. I've never seen anywhere else. The six pack costs six fifty. As far as a Shandy and a Rattler, I heard of a Shandy a few years ago, and I heard of a Rattler just about two years ago. As far as I know, they are the same thing. It's mixed, possibly 50-50 or so, with carbonated pop. Could be lemon, could be orange, could be grapefruit, could be whatever. So when I'm reading here briefly, the story behind a Rattler is half fruit soda, is a half fruit soda, a half beer, half fruit soda. Originally conceived in Bavaria, Germany, in the mid 18th century in a place called Shandygaff. The one we know today is a Shandy, is beer mix of soft drinks such as carbonated lemonade, ginger, or something else. And so generally it's two parts beer, one part of that, whatever the carbonated drink is. The term Rattler comes from an innkeeper named Franz Kugler, a uh, place inside Germany, and he came up with this in the 1920s. I'm gonna go ahead and try this out, see what it's like. So as you can see, it's, it's pretty light color. It's a medium golden color, plenty of carbonation. Not thick head, but there's a decent amount of head there. I don't smell any fruit juice, though. Yeah, it says lemon beer on the label. I was expecting to smell more lemon out of the nose. The lemon very much stands out in this. Not quite lemonade. I was expecting a little bit of maltiness, a little bit of the flavors, but I get no maltiness at all. It's all the sweet lemons. It's not bitter. It's only nine IBUs. I mean, that's not even detectable. I think this is a light body beer. There's hints of medium body, but overall, it's, I think it's a light body. There's a little bit of tartness to it, but it's not insane. That's really all I get out of this. I don't get any grain or malt or anything that I thought I might get. I'm surprised the Munich isn't more obvious. There's no real sweetness to it, no candy-like, no spiciness I can tell. Okay, I'm going to try the bottle to see if it's any different. No, about the same. The lemon just totally explodes in my mouth. It just covers everything and then dies down, but the, the tartness as well, it slowly dissipates. There are no off flavors at all. Nothing tastes off, skunked, sharp. No fusels, no sharp, you know, solvents, uh, diacetyl, nothing. I think this is ideally a spring and summer beer. I don't really have much more say on this. It's a pretty basic beer, really. Would I buy this again? Yes, I would. Would I recommend it? If you like fruit beers, yeah, I would check it out. I don't have anything more to say on this. I'm just going to go ahead and finish my beer off. Cheers.